when you are preparing an SVG file for your CARB, there are times where you may need to edit that SVG file to get it just right. And part of those edits are going to be cutting and merging your vector lines. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And I was re recently approached by a viewer needing some help on a carb, a flag carb. And when I first saw some of the images of this flag harp, I thought maybe some of the tool paths were off, some of the settings. So I had a general idea of what I thought it could have been. Once I saw the SVG file though that was being carved, I knew that he wasn't being set up for success. It was the file itself that was giving him a hard time. And so I went ahead and showed him how to, how to improve this file. And just as a side note, I do offer individualized training if you need that extra help. I know some of my videos may go fast or you may just need a, a, that hands-on help. Let me know, I have my email down below in the description and we can set something up and I can give you my rates as well. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to cut and merge vector lines. Let's go ahead and jump into Carbide Create. All right guys, so jumping into Carbide Create, let me show you real quickly how I would modify this SVG cut this line, cut this vector line, and then merge it to itself. As you can see here, this vector line goes around the horse's hooves, or it should, but it actually comes down into this letter, into the letters and creates this offset. I don't want that. I want this to be one continuous line. So how would I cut this image or this vector line and then merge it to itself? Let me show you real quick. It's very simple. What we're going to do is we're gonna zoom in, we're gonna select it, we're gonna come over to this edit nodes option, node edit, now you see the nodes. We're going to right click on this node here, this corner node, and we're going to cut the vector. We're going to zoom in a little bit more and then uh, we should be able to click, left click on this node now and then we should be able to move it. I wanna move this away just like this, press done. I want to now do the exact same thing to this corner here. Node edit on this node, right click, cut vector and then click left click and then it creates this space again and now you can see that this blue line is created here or this now this line is now blue meaning that it's that it is open it's oh there's an opening here if you were to zoom out and click over here click off this or press done or click off you can see now that this line is open and we're okay with that for right now but we actually need it closed to be able to get a good carve so what I want to do is I'm going to actually get rid of this line here. I don't need it now. I'm going to zoom in and actually here's a real quick tip, a pro tip you could say that a lot of these SVGs when you get them converted, get these random SVGs that are tiny. You can go ahead and, and zoom in. Y you're gonna have to zoom in in most cases to find them. So just to keep that in mind because if I don't spot, if I, ha if I wouldn't have spotted this, I would have carved this. This would have been carved, so just a heads up. Okay, so how do I close this gap? It's very simple. I'm going to come over here to this create vector section. I'm going to click on create polyline. I'm going to then hover over this node and click once, click left click on your mouse and then extend it out over to this other node. Click on this one and that's it. When you move over, you, you wanna come over to this done. It's going to create this or extend this line here. Don't worry about it. As long as you don't click on the screen, you should be good and then click done and you'll be left with the lines that you actually, or the, the line that was actually clicked or created. So what do we do now? It's still open because you can still see that this blue line is here. We're going to keep this selected. We're gonna hold shift and select the line. And in this particular case, it's all one, one single line, so I only had to click on it once. But at times, this line and this line are two separate vector lines, so you're gonna have to select both of them. But again, in this particular case, I only have to hold shift and then click on this line once. With, with those two selected, I'm gonna come over here to this edit option and I'm going to click on join vectors. And just like that, once I click it, this line that I created has now been merged or joined to this other vector line. And just like that, that is closed. So that is how you would cut lines and join, join them as well if you needed to. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I, I went quickly and I was as concise as possible to get you the information fast. But if you wanna see how I edited this SVG and prepared it for a carve, go ahead and click on your screen right now because this SVG, as it stands, is not ready to be carved and it did require some work and a lot more of that cut and merging 
and creating offsets. So if you want to see what I kind of go through to create a full file to be ready for carving, then you're going to want to click on that screen right now, and I'll see you there. Thanks, guys.